Yeah, I'm excited to get into this. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Thursday today, my last day in Los Angeles before heading to New York, and Buckley and I are about to do our morning meditation. He just needs to be scratched first to get in the zone. <sighs> oh. Okay, meditation is over, and today is a very, very, very structured day for me. Um, I have a lot I need to get done. It's the last day I'm home, so I need to make sure I'm on point. So I'm going to go swim for about 15 minutes this morning. I guess another thing I should say is today's like my fir first full day that I'm not cutting. My photo shoot was yesterday, which was amazing, super epic. I'm getting the raw files later today. So there's a part of health that is the nutrition aspect, right, where you should eat cleanly, whole food, plant-based, and I fully support that. But I also think that if you've been living in a place of deprivation or calorie restriction or just having a regimen um, on yourself, like I have the last 50 days, I'll be totally honest, I've been wanting to eat more than I have been, um, but I've been dialed in and losing weight and, you know, getting cut, and it worked, and it paid off, and I got my pictures, and I'm happy. So, to counterbalance that, today I'm going to eat a little quote-unquote dirty, dirtier within, the, within my vegan diet. I'm going to have fun. I also planned out everything I'm going to eat today. Again, I'm a freaking dork, but that's what I like to do. I like to be organized and structured, so it's going to be a fun day of eating as well, and I'll try to take you through as much of that as possible. So, let's go for a swim. Halfway done. The abs are still there. They haven't gotten lost, even though I ate a lot of food yesterday and I'm gonna eat a lot of food today. Still looking good. So we've never really addressed this in a vlog, but you guys know I have gauges. Um, I just took them out. Here they are. I wear a little Come on, focus. Uh, it's not gonna focus. Little wooden ohm gauges. Um, but some people are weirded out by it. I started doing it in high school. They're just really fun, but I quite literally, let's see if I can get this shot, have, you know, a hole in my ear. I can put my whole pinky through it. It doesn't hurt at all. Uh, I think they're awesome. It's so weird. All right, so for breakfast, we're starting out with this, uh, I think it's called a snow leopard melon. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, that right there is the real deal breakfast of champions. Incredible honeydew snow leopard melon and a ripe mango. All right, I'm now headed into town, into Brentwood Village. All right, just got my cash money. Now I'm headed over to Whole Foods uh, to get a little maple syrup for my pancakes. So as a part of my organized on point day, I just did a little podcast introing, uh, recorded the intro and outro to the next two podcasts. Should I tell you what they are? No, I'm going to keep it a secret. Um, but they are awesome. They're two really on point, really cool um, interviews, two very different ones. Um, but I pre-recorded them because as you know, I'm headed to New York tomorrow to Woodstock Fruit Festival and you get no privacy there. I mean, it's a total communal event, which I love, but I know I won't have time to like edit intros and podcasts and stuff like that, but I'm consistent and put up an episode every single Monday. So just uh, do the intro and outro to those. So I'm all ready to go for the next two weeks. And now it is time for something a little crazy. I was in Whole Foods the other day and I saw this. 
okay? Vegan, protein, organic pancake mix. When you see something like that, to me, nothing yells more, you should eat that on sort of a cheat day. Like, that's just perfection. So I have not made pancakes really in a very long time. I tried once this summer to make sort of healthy oat pancakes and it worked out fine, they were all right. But I'm gonna go all out with this right now. Here we go. Let's look at the ingredients of this real quick. We got flour, brown rice flour, uh, rice protein, potato starch, tapioca, uh, sugar, salt, xanthan gum. It's, I'd say that is pretty clean as far as pancakes go. And out of 200, 230 calories, only 10 from fat and 12 grams of protein, so they're definitely high carb as well. All right, first pancake going on. No oil, it's a non-stick pan. I think it's going well. Got some carrot chips, strawberry, vegan pancakes. Oh yeah. All right, so I just ordered our family an Instant Pot, the best pressure cooker ever. Oh. And let's just be honest, my family are not culinary artists. They do very little of their own home cooking because it takes time and it's just not a part of their schedule. So I told my mom, inspired her to get a pressure cooker which makes cooking things like beans and chickpeas, whatever, super, super simple. So I'm about to give her a tutorial. All right. Round one of the Foster Family pressure cooker is going. We're trying just one serving of split peas to test it out. I've actually never cooked split peas in the pressure cooker before. All right, so I got my pictures. I'm pretty stoked about them. I'm gonna show you guys a few, not all, of the raw, so totally unedited, um, no contrast was changed. These are just the raw photos. I'll probably doctor them up a little bit later if I choose to, but here are a few of my favorites. Time to continue my absolutely indulgent day. Coconut bliss ice cream. I'm just gonna have one serving, probably. <gasps> Coffee ice cream was always my favorite growing up. Now I get to eat it vegan. So I had a little uh, situation happened. I realized I'm leaving for Woodstock Fruit Festival tomorrow and I forgot my tent at school and my sleeping bag. Uh, which was not fun, and I was like, oh shit, do I need to go buy one? And then I remembered, on the bike trip, I had a tent, and I just found that tent, thankfully, and it's bringing back a lot of memories of many nights having slept there, so I'm excited to have this for Woodstock, too. All right, headed out to yoga with my mom. Mom, are you excited to take a yoga class with me? So excited, I've been waiting for three weeks. Yeah, we haven't taken one this trip yet together. Going to Yoga Works in Venice with one of our favorite teachers, Sarah Ivanhoe. It's gonna be nice. Here we go, Yoga Works LA. That was awesome. Lovely, hardcore, but also blissful yoga class. How'd you like that, Mom? It was awesome. So glad Jack was with me. This is a good class. Sarah was in the first graduating class of the LMU Masters of Yoga program. So she literally got a college degree in yoga philosophy. So she knows how to teach a class. I'm gonna make me a little post yoga session treat. Got a rice cake and some vegan raisin bread in the toaster. Gonna put on some organic peanut butter with no added oil and some fruit jam on there. So 
I'm gonna try to make my own veggie burgers right now. I have some hydrated TVP, tofu, split peas that I cooked, a little vegan barbecue sauce, that's the pressure cooker going, and some zucchinis. I'm gonna add a little like turmeric chili powder, grind that up, and pretty much mat them into a burger on parchment paper, paper and put them in the oven. Like most nights, I am ready for dinner before my family's even here. They're in the jacuzzi, but they'll be here in a second. Um, we're gonna eat dinner as a family because it's my last night, and then my good friends Jason and Alex, who you've met before, are coming over late night to see me before I go. Jason's going back to NYU, Alex is going to Emerson College, but this year at the LA location, so this is sort of our farewell for our last year of college goodbye. All right, here's the final product the homemade veggie burgers with some nutritional yeast on top and some barbecue sauce. The friends are over and the family is trickling in for dinner. So my friends just left and I'm now prepping out my meals for my travel day tomorrow. I'm going to New York so it's gonna be about 10 hours of travel. Got a bunch of awesome fruit for breakfast at the airport. Then I'm making a little quinoa cucumber thing for lunch. Um, and then I'll be in New York City with my buddy Timmy Packron, who is at Mississippi Vegan on Instagram. He's incredible, culinary artist, photographer, check him out. Um, so I'll be good to go till dinner. It's 11.22. I have to wake up at 6 a.m. to head to the airport to fly to JFK to New York. My trip to Cali is over, um, and if you have been somebody here in LA that has made a part of my trip memorable and awesome, thank you. It has been real, uh, but what ahead of me, what is ahead of me, is uh, pretty exciting. I am so stoked for NYC and then ultimately the Fruit Festival. So here is the last of the vlogs from Los Angeles. The next few will be in New York. Drew, do you have any? Uh, Goodbye announcements to the vlog. They won't see you for a while other than to follow anti-fascist phone cam on Instagram. Do that and keep supporting Plain Triotic. See you guys on the East Coast. Much love, Dream Extreme. This is the Antique Project.